So let us begin with this idea of empathy that we had. And it's not resonating with many because many will say, I'm not a, an empath. In that way, you're empathic. Okay, you're empathic. And Brenda knows it. It's like, there's no doubt we feel more, um, but we're energetically sensitive in our minds. Listen to some of the people out there who know what it's like to be of, of energy. <laughs> you work with energy and you're like, there is a difference. Um, but it's, you do, you do feel, she's like, we're empaths, but there's a higher level of empathy. Let's put it that way. If I can sense energy as a guide, as a channel from my guide, that's, that's called being one with somebody. The physical channels of the world know what that's like. I am in and I am blended. And we blend with other, not like this, not like this, or uh, let's just say that as a guide, I'm not telling anybody to disregard their own information about what is or is not right for them. So if you want to be an empath, <laughs> in the same sense as what some other people are talking about, that might be okay. But if you want to really think about that, it sets you up for a lot of pain um, until you get your stuff figured out about what's my energy and realizing that if you set yourself up to go, I'm going to feel everybody that is around me, then that's like what Brenda, she's like, then I'm not going to be able to go out of the house. <laughs> Think about it. If you are, I can feel everyone around me and in my head and we notice things. You would say, but based on the ideas of so many people being, you know, of bad energy, we would be running into these people all the time. You have to challenge your thinking. Brenda does it all the time. I'm going into a store. How many people am I colliding with? I don't know these people. I look at them, I could go by them. If I don't notice them, I'm not going to necessarily pick up on their energy. I'm not feeling their energy. If I was looking at them and I noticed something different or I heard the way that they talked or something like that, and then it's going through my filters of what's right or wrong. That's the difference. It's my own guidance system that's saying that. My guidance system says I can go anywhere I want and not feel others because I know it's my own ideas about others that is causing me to feel whether someone is negative or not because I don't like bad or good or talk. Really? That's our family and friends. Most people who claim that they're empathic and are saying that person is toxic, they're either looking at their family or friends or someone they don't, or co-workers, whatever. Could be anyone, right? It's someone that we're often in contact with and we don't like them um, because they're different. But we've put a label... Uh, do all of their friends and family say that they are toxic energy? Who gets to determine that? Who gets to determine whether someone's energy is toxic or not? Now you could say it's not right for me. 
But by saying that that person is toxic, you have set yourself up for some serious energy to come back at you. How many people do you want to be labeled as toxic for? Because you will be. If I am saying others are toxic, what do you think that says to others about me? So by me being open to that idea of the ideas of people are toxic, I have now placed myself in that same category for others. I might be able to say, but I'm raised up. There will be people who will see you as a guide, for instance, right? So I have a guide that comes through and others don't like because my guide, let's think about this. So my one guide that I absolutely adore in my personal and my personal space is one in which I am able to come through and talk and speak in the way in which I want them to. But others would say that's offensive and to others it's not. So who are you pleasing? So by the nature of your religion, you could be considered a toxic person. And I don't mean that because I don't feel that in my heart, but think about it. Some people will say different people of different ethnicities are toxic, right? But not really. Most people are looking at this more as a personality. Brenda will go there with people. Do not go against that lady. What you think is right in a personality, you have no idea who you're working with. From the psychological level, you'll be taken down in those thoughts. Those thoughts are what's holding many of us back. They don't understand the nature of personality or of being in this world. Now, someone who appears as arrogant to somebody else may actually be exposing themselves to the ideas of I'm going to lift myself up by boosting myself up. Brenda understands, she's like, and she admits it and her friends know it. She said, you know, when I'm starting to feel a little bit down in my confidence or in my expression of certain things, you'll see the INFJ personality traits come out big time. And <laughs> her friends know this. And she's like, that's when I know in my personality level, and it's not as much anymore, I'm not going to get rid of it because it's what kept me high when I needed it. The strength from it was strong. I am now known as that in this guide's eyes. Okay, but I'm giving you an example of what it is to crave attention. Some people look at others as you are wanting attention because I'm expressing the way that I am. Now, others will say, well, look at Brenda getting on this camera. That's not like her. She's craving attention. She wants people to open up to visiting her website. How else do we get people to notice us? Of course we want attention. Not everybody. This is a growth element for my heart. I could use my friend and I would love to talk to her about this because we've talked about it many times. She's exhibiting the beautiful characteristics of who she is as a personality from the psychological level. My own ideas have been transformed from INFJ and it's expansive. Let's put it that way. I expand my identity, my being to include many ways of being, but that is one that's strong. And it resonates in my heart that for growth for me as an INFJ, what is often looked at as a bad thing for others is absolutely essential for me. I need to express the opinions, not so much anymore, but express my heart. And it's not going to resonate. I could go down the road of justice that is strong in the INFJ um, personality often, not all, but in that sense of black and white, this is right, this is wrong, I see the patterns, I see, 
I do notice things. But some are very out there. They were able to express themselves as a young at a young age and this one was not she held it in and for whatever reason there seems to be a lot of us who do and we experience it and we turn it in on ourselves and it takes time before we're able to open up to guidance from others we are often our own guides and so what we're saying is the empath now most maybe not who knows but a lot of infjs will identify as uh empathic as well it's not about your personality type but you start to realize that as an empath um you are highly attuned to the emotions of others and you're able to pick up on those cues that others often don't feel like they're revealing to others and or it's just a higher awareness is all and our brains are wired a little bit differently apparently um but for empaths if you identify as an empath and the world is a place for you to be afraid of others at that point are you afraid of working with other people because of their energy now this means something to brenda she knows what it's like to work with those who are strong in their in their hearts and their opinions and their judgments and it's not easy and so this is why we often go through a process of that's just who they are and it's not about me they're not me so the empath will say well i'm i'm becoming part of that person and so we're going to you know kind of keep them away and brenda's like well that's more about my own experience of empathic energy i don't have to take that on <clears throat> as a as a uh, identity so she actually has it in her <laughs> in her as it's not the same it's not you're to be told that you're toxic for somebody um what would that say to you in your heart now for brenda she would say that's their experience of it I'm, she says she's good for everybody. Can you imagine? This is the lady in red. <laughs> she's like, I know enough about guidance to know that I could work with just about anybody. Now, it doesn't mean I don't experience everybody and it doesn't mean I wouldn't have my own fears like you know put myself in potentially dangerous situations or whatnot or that there wouldn't be situations that I wouldn't be afraid of um, you know I've had experiences myself but what I'm saying is to accept people for where they are and that's the message if you are accepting people where they are then you understand that's their energy it's not mine right we're all of one but it's just for and for her she's like well if you're around me long enough you're gonna we're gonna all mix but guides would say there's a difference even in that <laughs> 